Okay, uh, acute ankle sprains. How I treat it? I think I treat it like everybody else does. So that's the take home message. Uh, I don't think we, we're going to reinvent the wheel here and, and, and tell everyone that, you know, we're going to be doing things very differently. So most common sports injury, we know that. We know that it is very common. There'll be almost more than 5,000 people attending UK ED uh, emergency departments. So you can multiply that to Indian population. I'm sure there are lots and lots more attending here. And you can, the, the take home here is, Yes, ankle sprain is an ankle sprain, but you can have long-term sequelae uh, in almost half of them. And a quarter of them might have pathology, which is not just the ankle sprain, it has done some other damage to the joint around. So I think those are the important messages, rather than just sort of um, thinking about ankle sprain. Okay, um, if you're a sports person, these figures are, you know, um, pretty bad, aren't they? Quarter of your time lost uh, in your sporting career. And lateral side, we know, is much more common than the medial or high ankle sprains. The mechanism, I don't need to tell you how to suck eggs. Basically, it is on a plantar flex inverted foot where the foot uh, is vulnerable because you've got no bony stability. Ligaments are stabilizing. If you're getting the high ankle sprain and we're recognizing more and more of this condition, uh, the mechanism is different. It's on a dorsiflex ankle. Okay. Now... If you ask the patient carefully, you pretty much get your diagnosis, don't you? It was, it went over, an inversion, massive ballooning of your tissues there, um, and that sort of tells you where, where, the, where the injury was. Um, is it the first time? Yeah, and what are your predisposing factors? And we already looked at some various heels time and time again, it's important to consider that. So if somebody comes in who's had several ankle sprains, you know, and the, the heel looks like that, they will continue having ankle sprains, whatever you do, uh, stabilizing their foot. This is a, you know, age-old classification, essentially one to three, and one is a stress, second is your partial tear, uh, and third is your complete tear, but it's the sequential failure of your structures. So we looked at, the, essentially what we've done is, uh, I've divided this into the process in our own hospital, so ankle sprains come to urgent care center if they're walking in, or they come to excellent emergency minors uh, if they are being brought in by ambulance for whatever reason. And what happens, they're all triaged, and we looked at the uh, Ottawa foot and ankle rules yesterday, Dr. Mahendra said, and I'll put up another picture. And so, there we go, it's working now? No, maybe not. Yeah, okay. So, there we go. So, essentially, you're, you're trying to find out whether they need an x-ray uh, at the time or not. Have they got anything broken? Uh, and that's your uh, x-ray going to tell you that. And if they come to the uh, excellent emergency minors, they'll be seen by a physician. And at, the, at that point, they would ap apply the Ottawa rules again. And that's what the rules are. You know, you look at those areas. Is it sore at the back of the fibula? Is it sore base of the fifth? Is it sore around the navicular? Okay. So you, you, if you think any of those area, bony areas are sore, then you're going to be getting some x-rays. So if you think there is no bony fracture, then you either, you look at two things. Are they weight bearing? Are they weight bearing? Then they can be pretty much mobilized straight away. If they're not weight bearing, and complete inability, you give them a pair of crutches um, and you keep them under review. Those are the ones that might have had a bit more than just an, uh, an ankle sprain. Okay? The other ones can be discharged with leaflet and the leaflet essentially says the regular exercises and things that will be covered by Dr. Pratiban in a minute so to avoid the uh, duplication of information. So this is standard rice, we all know. This is how an acute ankle sprains are treated. So people have done some clever stuff in the past, looked at the operation versus cast versus mobilization, and we, the literature is in agreement that acute ankle sprains should all be managed without doing an operation. Because there is no um, advantage in doing an operation. The important thing again, and the time and time again it comes up, is the functional recovery or functional rehab 
is the key. So don't put them in a cast and say don't mobilize on this for six weeks because they're not going to do well. Don't do surgery because they're not going to do well either. So it's the ones that can mobilize, should mobilize. Um, and if you're doing surgery, clearly it's a bad idea because you're going to give them some complications which they don't really need. Okay? And what's happening in the background? What is the nature doing whilst we managing them non-operatively? We're basically, nature is minimizing their bleeding initially whilst you're doing the rice treatment. And it goes on to some collagen uh, proliferation after that, which is a weak collagen, which is type 3. And then it goes on to increased mechanical strength in that collagen fibers. And eventually they will gain their final maturation remodeling uh, of their collagen fibers. So that's what is happening in the background. And that's why non-operative treatment does work for it. Okay, so I'm going to stop there, and Dr. Parthiban is going to uh, carry on and tell you more about the actual rice bit of it. Okay. Thank you.